In another video, I explained the Six Sigma standard and its specification. Here we are going to see how the information that we learned in my first video can be used to evaluate if a process is conforming to Six Sigma standard or not. So let's assume that there has been five faults in 642,000 of our output um, as it was controlled by our quality control department. The question is, is our process conforming to Six Sigma standard or not? This is our question. Now let's review what we learned in uh, in my first video about Six Sigma, about the kind of process that adheres to Six Sigma pr um, standard. In a Six Sigma process, we expect less than two out of a billion uh, products to happen to be out of a specification limits. In other words, we expect that less than two out of a billion out of a specification limits can be observed by our customers. Two out of a billion is what the user of our processes is expecting. The other thing that we learned is that we expect less than 3.4 out of every million of opportunities of fault to happen uh, when it is controlled by our quality control department. Uh, and uh, remember that the uh, control limits is set to be at 4.5 standard deviations and our specification limits what the customer expects is set to be at six standard deviations in other words the expected variations in our processes are supposed to be uh, so low that the expectations so low that the expectations of the customer is six standard deviations far from the variations that we are observing and the control limits are in the control department are 4.5 standard deviations uh, compared to the variations that our process is showing. So to check if in this specific question that we are observing five faults in 642 output uh, we have to find out what is the rate of the fault and we have to find out if it is conforming to the standard now the fault rate in this case is 5 out of for uh, 642,000 that means that we have to find this ratio if you do the math, you'll see that the fault rate is 7.79 multiplied by 10 to the power of negative 6. This means that we have 7.79 defects per millions of opportunity. Now, comparing that, uh, we realize that 7.79 defects per million is more than 3.4 defects per million. Therefore, this process is worse than... Six Sigma.